Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel again. Today we have a 777-300ER with an inoperative APU and we're gonna try to start it with get starters. So full ground equipment required today. So we uh, start with an uh, air conditioning unit to keep the cabin cool. As there is no air for the air conditioning at the moment. And we need a jet starter with three hoses to uh, start the engine. So here we see uh, where the air conditioning and the jet starter units are connected into the aircraft. So two big hoses that deliver cool air to the uh, air conditioning plenum and that is then distributed into the aircraft uh, so that the people are be kept cool. And then we see the three connections of the jet air starter unit that uh, taps into the bleed air system of the aircraft to start the engine. And as there is no electricity coming from the APU, we have a ground power unit that will deliver the electricity needed uh, to keep the systems in the aircraft powered up. Now that the whole uh, aircraft is closed up, doors are closed and the crew uh, directed us to uh, disconnect the air conditioning unit so that we can start prepping for the start of the engines. Here we have the moment that the jet air starter unit is put in the jet start position and in this position it should um, deliver enough air and flow to uh, start up the engine. And uh, here we go, the engine start um, process has started. The um, engine start procedure is that the um, engine in auto start will go to max motoring and at max motoring of the engine it will give the fuel. But uh, here we are going to find out that the jet R starter unit doesn't deliver enough pressure or air flow that the engine will go to um, max motoring. So the auto start will not uh, put in fuel into the engine to start the engine. So yeah, the auto start sequence is here aborted and the starter valve uh, has been closed off and you see the engines pull down. So the ground staff need to uh, put a new uh, or an extra jet air starter unit next to the other one so we can have enough uh, pressure and flow uh, to start the engine.
Now with the uh, second unit connected, we definitely have enough uh, pressure into the system and we're gonna try to uh, start the engine. This one will be successful. And now with the engine stabilized and delivering lead air and the electricity to do the aircraft, the uh, ground equipment uh, can be re removed and the jet starter can be disconnected, the external power can be removed and the uh, aircraft is uh, ready to uh, be pushed back onto the taxi track where they will do the cross bleed start of the other engine and it can depart to its destination. That's why I want to thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it and I want to see you next time. Bye bye.